to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Downer with another episode of Q&A with UCD series where you guys ask me questions and I go and answer them as simple as that. Now, I'd just like to point out before I start the questions is that Arctic Drop Shot does not hack. In the last episode of Q&A with UCD, I went and said the Arctic Drop Shot hacks. I wanted him to get banned. But this was all sarcastically. And I think people didn't pick that up. And because there's so many people in the comments saying Arctic Drop Shot doesn't hack. I thought you were friends. Etc. Etc. I just like to say I really meant it as sarcasm. Arctic Drop Shot is a legit player. And pretty much it turned into, I thought you guys were going to get it with sarcasm. More into I kind of in coincidentally trolled you in a way. And I really didn't mean that, but it was a pretty good joke, and hopefully you guys take it for what it is. Arctic Drop Shot does not hack. But let's get straight into the questions, starting off with Beijing Kid. And so he says, Hey, you city, I'd like to start recording. What advice would you give me, and what do you record with? Now, I record with Fraps. Fraps is, in my opinion, the best program to record with. Very few settings, very optimized, and it's one of the best programs out there. But if you're starting off, you want something you don't have to pay money for. Now, MSI Afterburner is a program which you can use to modify your computer, like in speed up the fan and stuff like that. But you can also record with it and it's very powerful and it's a free download. I'll give the link in the description below. You go and click that, you download it and it's a really great recording program in case you don't have fraps or something that is paid. The next question comes from Akasha Shamar, can't pronounce your name, sorry. And he says, do you think that people like how to annex barbecue of his annex and that the community is greedy? Pretty much, I think how to annex sniff is doing a really good thing for the community. Giving away free annex to people that probably can't get it is a really great thing. And he makes, you know, a good amount of money. Giving back to the community is such a fantastic thing. But the community is greedy can go both ways. I think people that don't have annex and are unable, to get NX, these competitions really help and they're not greedy. But there's also people that get so much NX but still enter these competitions just because they want more NX. Overall, I think the community just springs on opportunities like this and it happens to every com gaming community, any community in general. If you give free stuff out, people are going to take it no matter what. I think it's just the Combat Arms community just going and springing on a really good opportunity. The next one's by Scene Oliver 1998 and his question is, do you think that Combat Arms community is getting worse? And I say yes, yes, the Combat Arms community is definitely getting worse because the Combat Arms community is getting bigger, it's getting more well known. Back in 2009, 2010, the community was smaller, and so not not as many people knew about the game. And if you knew about the game and played it, you kind of did your research and you kind of found out for a friend and stuff like that. The Combat Arms nowadays, you type in the free free to play first person shoot, and it comes straight up. So you got like 10, 11 year old kids just going mic spamming all the time, and it's just because they've gone and typed it in and found it when before you really wouldn't. Combat Arms was more of an underground. Game. Game. So because the community is getting bigger, pretty the, pretty much means it's getting worse. Same happens with Call of Duty community, same happens to pretty much every community. There's only a couple of exceptions. Now Pongo FX asks, you have a girlfriend? Question mark, of course a question mark. And the answer is no, no reason behind the answer. I just, just don't. So yeah, I'll just leave it at that. You guys can think up any reasons you want, but there really isn't any reason behind it. Next one's by Karen Jarrarila. I can't even pronounce your guys names can you do a live commentary with your mum possibly possibly I think I'm doing I think I'm gonna set one up Farmville 2 my mum is a massive Farmville fan I absolutely hate Farmville I think I'm gonna get a dual commentary setup where she shows me the ropes of Farmville and how to play these social media games and that would be pretty sick Another last question for today is Combat Armed E Arms Help. You're a WWE fan referring to my last video. Who's your favorite cover current wrestler? Mine would be CM Punk. Pretty much, I don't really watch WWE at 
all really it's kind of just a dead sport kind of thing it isn't really sports entertainment to be more exact but when wwe was i did watch a wwe my favorite wrestler was sean michaels he was like the boss man that shinky music man he was my favorite of all time and d generation x oh that was just that was just a massive massive part of my entertainment watching these guys just go absolutely ham on everybody it was a really 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 good watching experience if you guys haven't seen them and you watch wrestling you know the fake wrestling WWE once in a while go type in D-Generation X and watch their stuff because they are pretty funny so pretty much that's all the questions for today five minutes nice and around the number I think that's what you guys want to see around five to six minutes nothing more so if you want to go ask some other questions post them in the comments below and I'll see if I'll go and pick them for the next episode of Q&A with UCD but other than that undercover dudes all the way from down under